Looking better. Hi all, I am a 33-year-old male. My wife is 32 years old. We married in 2008 and have been together since 2004. We faced pretty tough things over our time together. Lost our first house which was devastating but now live in a very nice home that we're comfortable in. Throughout our time together it was found out that my wife was infertile. We never really planned for kids but it devastated her. I did maybe want kids one day but I assured her that I love her and would not be going anywhere. She has been my biggest supporter and best friend all of these years. We barely fought and have had a good marriage. Yesterday my wife confessed something that turned everything upside down. She teaches a dance class for young, teenage girls and has informed me that she's been having an emotional affair with one of the fathers of one of these girls. Told me she is confused and doesn't know if these feelings are real or not and if she should follow them. This has been going on for four months. Swearing nothing physical has happened. I thought I had it all, I have a nice life and a good job that I'm respected it, get along with everybody. I asked her if she is willing to cut him off completely, she told me she doesn't know if she can do that, told me she thinks we can go to counseling. All while she still continues deciding what she wants. I was at work earlier today, I just started to cry in my office. Looking at the picture of her on my table, I feel like a destroyed, betrayed man. Someone must have heard and informed my boss, who talked with me personally and told me it is okay if I take a few days off. So, I'm at home, all I want to do is drown my thoughts in alcohol but I have read that it's not good. I will do anything to numb this pain. Comment. I don't know why you wouldn't throw her crap out on the lawn. See you later babe. Unless you don't have any self-respect. And hey is this guy married himself? If so rat him out to his wife immediately. Also see a divorce lawyer. And quit talking to your wife about her feelings. Really? Why the f would her feelings be important right now? She is the one cheating. Tell her you don't want to wear a t-shirt that says plan B the rest of your life and you want a divorce. Get a lawyer. Make her earn her way back, if that is what you want later. Why are you the one groveling when she is a giant piece of crap? She should be worried about keeping you. Sure, doesn't sound like it. Time for being nice is over pal. Sooner you figure it out the better for you. Or you can keep believing the crap she is telling you. As if you can trust her to be honest now. I am being nice. Plenty of people on here to quiz him about his feelings, her feelings, status of their marriage. If that's what he wants. By that time his world will be exploding all around him. That's not my style. Doesn't mean I'm right but it doesn't mean I'm wrong either. If he wants to save himself and maybe his marriage, then he needs to see through the bull crap she is feeding him and get his mind right. He is the victim here. I don't know that tossing her crap in the yard is the way to go. But it's the right mindset. He is holding all the cards right now. Not her. Why does she need time to think? What about OP feelings? If he caves to that crap now, he'll be eating it the rest of his days. He needs self-respect to survive this. Wake up OP. OP responds. It's only gotten worse. I met with my sister and told her why I needed to talk with her. I just cried and vented the whole time. She's very angry with my wife. It was nice to get all of that stuff out. So, on to the bad news. Well, I asked to see her phone and all of the messages were deleted. They have a Snapchat streak lasting over 100 days. She told me they really only communicate through Snapchat. Did not believe her but acted like I did. She went to shower, locked me in a room and got the texts recovered. I couldn't even describe the feeling, how I'm feeling now. I did not find any evidence of it actually being physical. But I miss you and I love you scattered throughout their messages. There wasn't that many, so I guess they do mostly communicate through Snapchat. She did contact him today, telling him she just wants to be in his arms. So, I can only assume the worst. The worst part about this is her reaction to all this. Blaming me and calling me a jerk. No sorry, no anything. Told me she has not loved me for years. I think that's a lie and she is just trying to regulate what she's doing. Won't admit to it being physical and has said she's so confused. Doesn't even care about how I feel. My head is so messed. The woman who I have loved and cherished all these years doesn't care about me it seems like. I can't explain it but I feel actual physical pain. I'm aching as I type this. My sister does represent divorce cases. She has told me not to leave our home. This is all happening so fast, I'm not sure how to handle it. She is saying nothing happened between them. She's lying to me and doesn't even care about how upset I am. Who is this person? My sister has told me if we divorce, I will most likely have to pay her spousal support because of the income differences. She wants to represent me and has told me she won't take any money from me but I don't want to burden her so I might not. As for my wife, she is not apologizing or anything. Told me she has not loved me in years. She went off to go teach and I threw all her stuff out of our bedroom. I threw all photos of us around the house in a garbage bag. All she said was we'll talk when she gets home. After all we have been through, I can't believe she is letting this guy come between us. Before this she was a loving, supportive, loyal wife. She is out with him at the moment. I've set the alarm and she doesn't have a key. Told me she's running late but then admitted she's with him. I am going to file tomorrow. Not like she cares. My birthday is in a week. Early present, I guess. At least she won't have the satisfaction of seeing me cry tonight. 
I already know I'm going to be messed up for months over this. I've already been thinking about quitting my job because I feel like I'm going to mess up. This hasn't even hit me yet. I feel like I'm going to do something stupid and end up making the situation worse. Here I am, sitting and crying in our home with our dog here, talking to helpful internet strangers while my wife is out with another man. Am I really that disposable? She came home 30 minutes ago, banging on the door super loud, had no choice but to let her and if she called the police, they would force me to let her in. I don't know why she has to come home. I still care about her. She told me it's physical and she's in love. I told her I'm moving on and she needs to find a place to stay. Asked if she would cut contact with him right now so we can rebuild. Said she can't do that. Told me she thinks I shouldn't file yet. Maybe we should go to counseling, she says. Just to see if there's any chance she also won't leave the house and both of our names are on it. So, I'm back in our room, she's in another one. Just would have never thought I would be here. She was the light of my life, now it's just darkness. My sister is going to start drawing up the papers so I can get her served. Yeah, I don't know why she came home last night. Stupidly I asked if she slept with OM and she said yes and she loves him she was also drunk, she drove him drunk. One of her friends got killed by a drunk driver, it's something she was always so against. Also was in a tank top and has no shoes on very classy. Today I am separating the finances. I'm still so upset, but she doesn't care. It hasn't even hit me yet. Unfortunately, throughout my life I've always dealt with trauma by isolating myself which will probably happen now. It was hard for me to tell my sister this as it is. I don't think parties or anything will help me with this, I'm not even motivated to go out and celebrate this. It's only been a few days and I'm still heavily grieving everything. Our life together, everything. I have to call our travel agent and cancel a vacation I was taking her for Mother's Day. I would get her things on Mother's Day even though she could not conceive. I have some friends but I'm not the most popular guy in town. I'm not an extrovert people person like my wife or my sister. I expect nothing but mental agony for the next few months. I will definitely need mental help with a counselor. She doesn't think I'm actually going to file, I think. Also, someone mentioned not using her because of an emotional attachment and I need someone aggressive. She went to Harvard and is as aggressive as they come. I have asked about our dog, which I have bought and he is under my name so I will basically get him which is good news. I can't kick her out and she will not leave willingly. Her name is on the house also. Her affair partner is divorced I don't know if she is willing to go live with him. Does not seem like it for whatever reason. We haven't even spoken today and she's been in the shower for over an hour now. I am meeting my sister in two hours. She decided to randomly come up to me and said she tried to work on our marriage. Claimed she went to a therapist and the therapist told her to follow her heart. Not even sorry. Told her I've loved her and cherished her all these years but that woman is gone. And I don't want anything to do with this new one. She thinks we can be friends after this. Then went to call the other man and wish him a St. Patrick's Day and at the end told him not to get too drunk because they're going to have fun tonight. She's evil. I am going to tell her family today. I think it was because I called the travel agent in front of her to cancel our trip. She seemed to get upset about that and then did it as petty revenge. She asked if I was filing and I said yup. She told me all she wants is half of our shared income. She doesn't want spousal support or anything and no equity from our home and would like to go through mediation. I think she feels guilty, hopefully this will last. She invited me over for a little party they're having tonight. I don't know if I want to go. Maybe I should just afraid I'm going to be sad and mopey the whole time and ruin the vibe. I don't understand. I really don't. Everything was fine and good. If she says anything else, she's lying. Before her affair started, she would text me she couldn't wait I couldn't get home to see me. We were that kind of couple. Just genuinely enjoyed being with each other. Never spent nights away from one another and never went to bed mad. Also, a decent amount of bonding, not a dead bedroom. Everything gone like that. So many memories, pictures, trips. She was the best thing in my life and my best friend. We were so close I just feel like I've lost a part of me. I guess I was, and codependent. She is too, even more so than me. When will I accept that she's gone? Comment. She's lying and she knows it. But she has to lie, because, in her mind, for her to do what she did, your marriage must have been just awful. So, the hamster gets on its wheel and the gears start turning. That's how she rationalizes and justifies her behavior. It's also how she avoids any meaningful responsibility for it. She'll wake up at some point, though, and hopefully it will all be so far behind you, or, at the very least, you'll be sufficiently detached from it all, that you'll just ignore her. OP responds, My sister is going to draw up papers with the agreement we bad in place about the money. We have to talk about the retirement accounts though and other things. All she said was she won't ask for spousal support and home equity. She didn't come home last night. Of course, I shouldn't care, but I feel like crap. I want to get everything moving so I can get out of this hell. She is adamant that she wants mediation. I want to get everything signed. Should I just contact her and tell her what we're dividing and how we are proceeding so I can get papers signed? I don't want to wait all weekend for her to change her mind. If going through a mediator is a way for me to avoid paying spousal support, save money, and get this done quicker then I will do it. 
My sister is going to write up a divorce agreement anyway with the 50-50 income split with no spousal support. She made a remark about how she knows this is her fault, so she won't take anything extra. Yes, that's as close to an apology as I'll get. I'm already feeling anxious about explaining this to family and mutual friends. I don't want to piss her off. They will all probably take her side. Everyone loves her. I guess I will know who really supports me after this. The other man is a real estate agent. Multiple kids and an ex-wife. I unfortunately spent time stalking his social media. She came back home today and I got out of the house for a couple of hours, claiming she doesn't want anything else besides half of the money in our joint accounts. Also, she has credit card debt but is saying she won't put it on me. She knows my sister is working on the agreement and has said she does not want to pay for a lawyer so let's just get it done as cleanly and as amicable as possible. I know I need to stop engaging with her but she starts every conversation. Even had the nerve to tell me you know, I don't regret our time together at all I responded with a slight laugh and said please don't speak to me regarding anything but the divorce. The other guy doesn't have room for her at his house and she doesn't want to live with other family members. Sadly, it looks like we might end up having to live together. I will do my best to stay away from her. I did offer her that to pay her rent for an apartment. She said she doesn't want me to pay extra money just so she can live in an apartment. She rather stays at our house. The fact that she seems so happy saddens me so much. So, she gets to stay here because she won't leave, go out and have fun with her boyfriend, and gets to play mom to his kids. She already wants mutual friends to meet him. One of them texted me today and asked what happened between us. She said we grew apart. I told them the real story, and they were sympathetic. They invited me out to dinner tonight with a group of people. Although I'm devastated, I'm looking forward to it. OM, he is divorced. Background check the hell out of him. I found his ex-wife on Facebook, confirmed. My wife is going to get the papers tomorrow. It will be at her work, hopefully. Supposed to meet the girl in 30 minutes. Should have had her meet here but did not want anything my wife could use against me. I hope I don't mess this up. Haven't been with another girl in 14 years. No alcohol. I can't believe my wife has treated me like this. This is sadly relatively common as I have heard some of the horror stories on here. This was more of a revenge thing. As petty as it sounds, I feel even worse now. Yes, I deserve it even though we had a good time. My wife texted saying stay safe tonight didn't even tell her where I was going. All I wanted to do was cry. Does she even care or is she doing that to act like she does? I took someone's advice here of hooking up with someone I had fun but it wasn't worth it. And yes, I did, do love my wife very much. All I thought about was her this whole time. All I think about is her even if I sound pathetic. I don't have much true friends, more like acquaintances. No matter how much she's hurt me I still care about her. I think I am codependent. We did every single thing together. She threw me away like garbage. I hope I stop caring about her like this one day. We are going to do mediation. I doubt she will change the terms. She just wants out of the marriage as fast as she can, I guess. Feel like I cheated on my wife. I need more self-respect so I can stop feeling like a low piece of crap. I even want to tell her just so this guilt can stop. Sorry I didn't mean tomorrow that she's getting served. As you can see, I'm not a mentally stable person. My sister has to do everything cause my wife won't file and I can't do anything right. Probably why she is leaving me in the first place. I'm a codependent piece of crap. I don't know much about anything. My wife handled all the finances. God just let her break free from me. It was very stupid and something I will never do again. We mostly talked so it was nice having someone just to talk to. Never had many friends. Most of those mutual friends are known because of my wife. So, they will probably accept her guy eventually. I don't deal with trauma well. I do and say stupid things. My wife would complain about how I would handle certain situations and she wouldn't be wrong. I just wanted to step out of my comfort zone. She will never want me back. It's over. The 180 is too challenging for me. Maybe I will do that. Maybe it's my personality that she wasn't attracted to. Just so many unanswered questions. I told my sister I really appreciate her help but she has other stuff to do and business to attend to. Has her own career and her own family. I'd like to get this completely done by myself now. We are going through mediation. She told me although the mediator is a neutral third party, she thinks my wife will manipulate and guilt trip me. I won't allow myself to be manipulated by her anymore. I just want to get out of this mess and if I save money in the process then so be it. If I won't have to pay her spousal support and don't have a connection to her afterwards then yeah. I don't know why I felt so guilty. Was a mess last night and had too much to drink. She surely wouldn't care anyway, she's checked out. Only problem with this is me having to sit with her through this acting all friendly after what she's done and is doing. Reasoning for her not living with the boyfriend because he has a weird custody agreement with his ex so she can't live with him don't even know what that means. I am going to do the 180 as hard as it is. Then he mentioned that the kids were a big draw for her. You're right. She was FaceTiming his daughter today. Unbelievable. Gave up having kids for this woman that I don't even recognize. So here we are. Going through mediation. No chance of reconciliation. She is completely in love with him and his family. While she leaves me in the dust to go be with her new family. I will never ever forgive or respect her again.
She doesn't deserve to be a mother. We're not in mediation yet. I meant as in that's what we've agreed to by talking. Nothing has been signed at all. All we have done so far is separate the finances and have a discussion about what we are doing. Me exposing her to others and workplaces just allows me to stay in this drama-filled situation and my sister advised against it. I also purchased a VAR. If she will still be living here, I will protect myself. I feel like this is my battle to fight so to say. I've already been dealt devastating blow after blow. Here is what my wife is saying. She wants to do mediation because it is cheaper and she does not trust lawyers. She doesn't want to pay for one and doesn't want to use one period. Also has remarked about how she's worried about me going forward and would like to be my friend throughout this. Never ever has she liked taking money from people and is refusing to take money from me. She handled all the finances and the bills really. I don't know much about that stuff at all. The lawyer fees are what she is afraid of and the amount of money a divorce can achieve. We are in Iowa. Funny how my sister is saying the exact same thing as you guys about her manipulating me but yet I keep falling for it. I don't want any bad blood, I just want to get through this friendly. If she is not fighting me for anything no home equity, no spousal support, nothing at all why should I piss her off and get her served? This is about me just moving forward. I don't want to be her friend but right now I have the fake it tills I make it mentality. Frankly I don't think she understands divorce really well. Then again neither do I all she said was she wants to do it in a very cost efficient way. I know my STBX, I know she feels guilty but it's not enough. No mediation for us, turns out she doesn't really understand it. She looks at divorce as spouses battling it out nasty in court like her parents. Least she can do is make this easy for me. Have not cried today, plus. She said she would like me in her life after this is over. Not happening. Not after what she's done. I am going to join meetup. I need to make friends. Women, men. I don't want to learn more about the OM's past relationship. All I know is that he's a piece of crap and I won't give him the satisfaction of telling his ex-wife. If he cheats or breaks my wife's heart it's not my problem. I am not going to show her how bad he is she will get her soon enough. Reconciliation is not in our future. She seems so happy, getting to enjoy life with her boyfriend and his kids. All while I'm sitting here trying to mend my broken heart and figure out where we went wrong. Telling people, we know me and have had a rocky relationship behind the scenes, another lie, go figure. I'll never forget. Reading the text, she sent me telling me she's out with OM and doesn't know when she'll be home. Reading her texts of her speaking of how I neglect her. How she wants to run away with him and be his princess. How much she loves him and seeing him is the highlight of her day. How is she going to give him private dance lessons? On our anniversary she was texting him how much it sucked that she was with me and not with him. Funny how she insisted we go out and had such a fun time. She was laughing and told me how much she loved me. Just makes no sense. I won't ever reconcile with her. I'm extremely sad our marriage is ending and this is the way she has decided to end it. She has ripped my heart out and stomped on it. I only pity her future partners. This isn't the woman I married and I'll have to accept that. I am moving on. Also, we didn't adopt because kids were always a if it happens, it happens thing. She was really upset about being infertile, but then got over it. That was the end of it. I am doing better physically, I would say. She's at the affair partner's house, been there since yesterday. I prefer when she's not here so that's fine by me. Putting on a smile for everyone. Our divorce has been spreading in person through gossip. Her family knows, so does the rest of mine. Mother-in-law called me and asked if this was true cause wife changed her story. First saying that's a lie, he's just a friend, I didn't cheat. Mutual friends, mostly her friends, have offered me their condolences. It's sad really. The people she has been surrounded by in her life you would think would produce completely opposite results. My mom has spread the info to my other two siblings. I mean I don't like everybody knowing my business. But people I haven't talked to in years and relatives calling me up and checking on me is nice. I thought my support network was incredibly small. My wife had much more friends than me. Just people supporting me here and in real life has been more than I could imagine. I don't know how I would be getting through this without all of this support. Although moving on is so hard, I am beginning to understand she's not the same woman I fell in love with. Other than being amicable in the divorce and not taking much she seems to have no remorse. Yet she hangs out with her boyfriend frequently. Unfortunately, we still live together, but are in the process of divorce. I have good days and bad days, had an awful night last night. Just thinking about all of our memories and how much of a joy she was to me, now thinking of her just brings me anger and sadness. Therapy is probably something I should try. It just feels like this doesn't face her at all and that angers me. I am getting there slowly but surely. I wish I could just burn all our pictures but that probably would not look good. Why does she get to be happy while the loving and faithful one is still so hurt and upset? It's hard for me to believe she lacks a conscience. It seems to me she feels like she's completely entitled to this affair. She was so kind before all of this, everyone loved, loves her. My birthday passed and my wife spent it with another man. It's so messed up I can't even put it into words. Maybe borderline evil. I am now starting to be upset at how this will not affect future relationships with other women. 
I will probably never fully trust another partner again. I don't know if that is actually a good thing or not. I feel incredibly lonely. Maybe I need to start looking for FWB at least. Not another relationship though. Good days and bad days and it seemed to never be consistent. She came home an hour ago crying, got into a fight with the affair partner about something and they got into a screaming match on the phone, doing my best to avoid her. I hate that I still care about seeing her hurt. It was over something about why she can't live there or the custody thing. Not my business. The good news is that she's most likely going to go live with her mom. Me caring and me helping are two completely different animals. She's made it clear she doesn't want to reconcile so yep. At least she was amicable in the agreement so far and splitting assets. I did want to hurt the other man. I did wish for something bad to happen to him. But me thinking about him or looking for revenge allows me to stay in this situation I just want to get away from forever. I have days where I'm happy and days where I'm a complete wreck. Thankfully I have gotten to the point to if the cheating bee told me she wanted me back, I would say no. She gave me some of my best memories, but also some of my worst. I find getting to this point a big step in my recovery. Up until a week ago I probably would have taken her back honestly. A short story too. I've been with my husband for almost four years, married for less than a year, before we got married. He was always happy and eager to help me with chores and errands. He would spend time planning fun activities we can do together. Now that we're married, he's sloppy and lazy. He throws mail, clothes, books, scrap paper, etc. all around the house. When he cooks, there's guaranteed to be stains on the counters, stovetop, and floor. He complains that we don't spend enough time together, but he no longer puts any effort into planning dates. Most of the time when we do have date nights, it's because I schedule it and I come up with the plans. I do all the vacuuming, scrubbing, sweeping, mopping, and picking up around the house. I vacuumed, lugged out the trash, scrubbed the kitchen right in front of him. The most he would do is lift up his feet so I can vacuum under the couch. Sometimes, he would leave the room as though the noise is disturbing him. I can ask him repeatedly in a thousand different ways to help out. But he always has an excuse. I'm tired. I want to relax. I had a stressful day. It's late. Or sometimes he will agree, but he won't follow through. When I get angry, he accuses me of not communicating my requests and needs to him. It's always my fault. When he actually cleans the house or does a chore, he acts like he did me a huge favor and he expects massive gratitude in the form of compliments and bonding. What do I get for cleaning up after him all the time? Nothing but inconsideration. We both work stressful jobs, 40 plus hours, but I still find time to do housework because I don't like living with bugs and surrounded by garbage, dirty dishes, and dirty laundry. The only thing he does willingly and without me asking is pick up groceries which I chalk up to the fact that he needs to eat, sometimes too much. I feel like I married a kid, except he's trapped in an overweight, balding, 30-year-old man's body. I am no longer physically attracted to him because I feel like his mother instead of his wife and lover. He's also lazy in bed and in the romance department. The icing on the cake is that he abuses alcohol. He drinks excessively when he's stressed out. The last time we spoke about this, he agreed that he has a problem, yet he won't get help for it. He has zero hobbies, unless computer games and video games count, and very few friends. On most evenings after work, I'm tidying up, vacuuming, scrubbing, putting away the dishes, and all the meanwhile, he's sitting on the couch throwing back four to eight drinks until he's passed out. Then I see my friend's husbands who do everything from cleaning to painting to yard work, and I feel completely depressed. I know no marriage is perfect, but is it worth working on a relationship when one person is literally doing all the work? I really want at least one kid, but I cannot even fathom bringing a child into such a dysfunctional environment. Plus, it will mean that I'm picking up and cleaning for a family of three while holding down a full-time job. I can already foresee having to do all the work and parenting on my own. He's already proven to me that this is not an equal partnership. He was not overeating before we got married. He actually stayed a healthy weight by running about three times a week and weightlifting at the gym. He's completely given up those activities in the course of a few months, citing a lack of motivation. Leaving a marriage is not as easy as some people on here are suggesting. There are financial, logistical, and emotional implications. It's not something to be taken lightly. I was actually on the phone with a potential therapist today because I'm looking forward to getting a professional's perspective and opinion on this. My husband and I have actually gone to couples therapy and premarital counseling before we got married. It seems everything went in one ear and out the other for him. Staying in this marriage, at the current state, is definitely not healthy. I've been questioning myself a lot, wondering how I had missed red flags if I had ignored them. He's using me as an emotional crutch. One of the issues we worked on in counseling was how he always accused me of not spending enough to time with him, how my work, hobbies, and friends seemed to take precedence over him. I heard this complaint even if we had just spent two weeks together on a vacation, or an entire weekend together. It was never enough for him, he was, and continues to, relying heavily on me for fulfillment and contentment. H's husband. 1. He comes from an ultra-conservative and religious household. His parents pulled him out of public school after the third grade because they didn't want him exposed to the sins of the mainstream. 
I'm not exaggerating. His parents were religious fanatics who went to televangelist churches. I think being homeschooled has impeded his social development. Too, whenever we're at his mom's house, she goes out of her way to compliment every little thing he does, from washing the dishes to walking the dog. Most of the time, I have to hold back from rolling my eyes and saying out loud, for God's sake, he just did his own laundry as all grown men should. He didn't perform a heroic deed. Calm yourself. This is exactly why he expects me to dote and fawn all over him if he so much as out his dirty dish in the washer. 3. Both he and his sister are very good at avoidance behavior. If an issue comes up that causes any unpleasantness, they don't address it at all. 4. Very early on in our relationship, he told me he had an alcoholic aunt who drank herself to death. His dad later confirmed it was his sister. Alcoholism runs in his family. My comment, this is a classic case of a man being blind to his faults and a woman being blind to hers. They'll divorce and the cycle of growing discontent will continue.